All right, there's another feature in SAS which is similar to a mix-in, but it doesn't take any parameters. It's just if you want to write a little piece of CSS and then reuse that. They're called placeholder selectors. With a placeholder selector, what you do is you use the percentage sign, give it a name, and then write a bunch of CSS. So we could say uh, background color pink and border three pixels dashed olive. You know, something really attractive like that. So I have this selector. On its own, this is not going to show up anywhere inside of my CSS file. So there, you can see it was compiled, but absolutely nothing happened here. Now, what I can do is I can reuse this in the same way that I would a mix-in. So we can come down into our footer, let's say. Inside the footer, we can say that we want to extend percentage sign, and then the name that we used up here, thing. Save that. That recompiles. And then we go down, here it is, right here, footer P, A. These are the things that were added through that extend. Now you can also combine these placeholder selectors with other classes. So we could do something like this. I've got a class or an ID, something like that. Then percent other, we'll call this one other. And inside of here, uh, let's do position relative transform rotate 30 degrees. There we are. Now, this is the target that I'm going to use down in my CSS. So I can create a class called Wilma. And then if I extend percent other, I haven't put Fred anywhere in here. I've just said, this is the key that I'm looking for. So I save that. Now this class, let's come over in here. There's Wilma. And Fred was prepended in front of it. There's the settings that were inside of Fred thing. Oh, sorry, Fred other. These properties are going to be placed inside of here but it's not just the fact that they're going to be placed inside of here, it's because I put this prefix Fred in front of this, it gets placed in front of this class. So now we've got the two classes combined. This one inside of this will get this situation. Okay, and that's it. Those are placeholder selectors. So I'll leave a little note in here. Like that. And I will leave a copy of this and the main CSS. So I'll leave a, I'll make a little markdown file that has the two things in it and put that in the description for you to download and experiment with. So I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.